Welcome to Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Pomerantz. Our guest is Judy Chu. She is a member of the U.S. Congress. Again, congratulations. I know you worked very hard uh, seeking to have part of the San Gabriel Mountains designated a national monument. What exactly does that mean, Congresswoman? That means that this area will get the resources that it so desperately needs. For so many years, there's been such neglect for the recreational needs mm. of the area. Uh, there has been trash, graffiti, lack of signage, mm. uh, uh, lack of uh, good trails. And uh, now there will be some money allocated to that. In the run up to the designation, there were some controversies surrounding it. Has that controversy died down? Do you feel as if at a certain level, the, both sides have come together and say, okay, here we are, let's try to make this work, even if we opposed it in the beginning. Well, I think the controversy has died down, uh, but I think it's because already that designation has happened. Mm. The signs are actually up oh, really? now oh, saying nice. that this is a San Gabriel National mm. Monument, and disaster has not happened. <laughs> yeah. People still can hike yeah. and camp and hunt. So what has happened? Has any money started flowing to the monument? I'm not sure how that will work, but explain for us. Already, $4 million oh, really? has uh, been allocated for the monument. And it happened because now you have this entity. Uh, and so the, the, this Wildlife Foundation actually allocated some money. Some of these partnerships allocated, allocated some monies to this. So yes, there is some monies immediately. And in fact, the Forest Service already started the graffiti cleanup right after that designation. And does the designation cause federal money to flow immediately? Exactly. Okay. Now the monument gets on a higher priority oh. for these kinds of uh, funds. And um, uh, there will especially be monies once a management plan comes forth. And let's talk about that because as I understand it, for the management plan to be completed, stakeholders will get involved yes. through, is it advisory groups, formal advisory groups? That's right. So explain that process. I think it's already out of your purview because once the designation happens, it goes to the Forest Service, but yes. to the extent you know. Well, the Forest Service is going to convene an mm. advisory group and it will have all the stakeholders. Right. Uh, it will have the cities, the uh, water agencies, the public agencies, uh, as well as the environmental groups. And they'll all be there to come together to put forth this management plan uh, that will guide the projects of the Forest Service from here on out. Can a resident apply, a citizen of the area, or is it for those that are, have official positions? Do you, if you know. I, it and, could, it right, could happen. Right. <laughs> so where are we in this process of setting up the advisory committees? Because I think you need to get that done before right. you get the management plan in place. Well, the Forest Service is putting that together. So uh, they are in charge of the process and I'm sure we'll be hearing soon from them. And once that happens, is there under the legislation or otherwise a timeline? We get the advisory committee, then we get the plan passed by days. Yes. Is that, is that in the legislation or is that? Well, I've heard that um, uh, that it takes two and a half to three years. Oh, oh yes. this is a major. And they actually have three years in which to do it. it I there, see. So there is a set time. I see. So what do you expect to happen? What, what's your dream? I know, I don't know if you'll be on the advisory committee. What do you hope to see at the end of three years? I wouldn't be on the advisory okay. committee because, yes. because so of your I, memory. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah. I, I'm yeah. In the elected official mm -hmm. in the area. But uh, I do believe that uh, they will come up with some very good plans with regard to improving the trails right. and the visitor facilities in the area. Um, there are so many people with such high stakes right. in these mountains. It's exciting. Congratulations. I know you worked very hard to make this happen, as did your predecessors, so I'm sure it's been <laughs> a great time. Her name is Judy Chu. She is a member of the U.S. Congress. I'm Brad Pomerantz. It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.